Okay, so I wanted to break it down really quick and share with you my beach body business plan. Okay, so we talked about this a little bit on the call tonight, but I felt like I wanted to be really transparent with you guys, with my team. I shared very vanilla outline of how you could build your business plan, like making sure that you have a mission, making sure that you know why you're doing this, and to be able to close your eyes at night or in 20 years and say, this is how I want my life to look. And then you can put the pieces together on how you're going to design that life. My encouragement to you is for you guys to find yourself, not to be a robot, but to be creative, be you, be fun, and find yourself, okay? So do some soul searching. Pray, get on your knees, surrender this to the Lord, because God loves to help you succeed when your heart is in the right place. So I wanted to share with you guys my business plan, and it starts with my why, okay? So I have my why written down on a notebook, and, you know, honestly, I don't read this enough. And I think I'm going to start reading it, especially now with you guys keep me accountable. But here are my whys, and there are three different reasons. I feel stable and secure when my family meets the monthly budget needs because of my financial contribution, and I am able to remain a stay-at-home mom. That's huge. So when I'm able to help out with our budget because of my income, I'm able to stay at, become a stay-at-home mom and remain that way. Secondly... I feel confident and balanced when I take care of my mind, my body, and my spirit. Healthy habits like eating clean, exercise, prayer journal, Bible study, personal growth reading, those things create the best me for my family. Thirdly, oh guys, this is, it's been a while since I've read these and it's like getting me. This is my favorite. I feel fulfilled and accomplished when I am a catalyst for positive change in others' lives. God wants me to discipline. <laughs> he doesn't want me to discipline. God wants me to disciple others. That is my purpose. My purpose is to disciple others. To love as many people as possible. And I'm able to use Beachbody as that vehicle. I'm able to um, inspire others and connect with them on... a a platform of reaching their health and fitness goals. That's incredible. Before Beachbody, I was not really in front of a lot of people and I really didn't want to be. I wanted to be behind the scenes and that's okay. But now with this, I'm able to be a positive catalyst to others. And it's very fulfilling to me when somebody says, look, you made a difference. And I think at the end of the day, that is why I feel like I'm successful. So those are my whys and it's driving me crazy awesome that I was able to share that with you guys. My hair is looking rowdy right now. Um, but that's my mission, that's my purpose, that's what fulfills me, okay? My goal with that is to be able to design a life where I'm able to go and do and live flexible. So my husband and I, we want to go and travel the world. You guys see that map back there? That's my motivation. So we know that that can happen. We, we want this to be a six-figure income. So we're just pushing and fighting and hustling for that awesome milestone in our business at the end of the year. So that's our goal. So that was point number two. The first goal was why. The second goal was what. That's our goal. Um, the third point was how. Okay, so I'm going to be building my business through social media credibility. And I'm going to be doing that through Facebook and my blog. I'm not great at my blog right now. I'm trying, I'm trying to like make a plan for it. But certainly Facebook is the biggest platform. And how? I'm going to be able to provide value to my audience. Building credibility with my network. Since this is network marketing, we have to be in front of as many people as possible. It doesn't mean that you have to put yourself out there, meet creepers, but you're going to have to be a little transparent. You're going to have to be okay with sharing your journey and sharing your um, success and struggles and trials in life. And it's really cool because even though you're opening that door to your life, it is fulfilling and rewarding because you're able to inspire others. And social media is an amazing platform to do that. So another point of building your business plan is that you need to know how. Obviously, the three vital behaviors are a duh, but you might think you're doing it, and you might be, but continue doing it. Guys, there's no secret ingredient to this. Do the three vital behaviors. Say them with me. Inviting, being a product of the product, and personal development. Do those three things. Those are non-negotiable. You do them anyways. You do them every single day. Do those things. Hustle. They will get you there. 
Um, I'm a huge advocate in setting goals. I love setting goals. And so the way that I have designed my business plan is I have written out the different social media outlets that I will be using. And I have told myself, okay, I have Facebook. I want to expand my market by 20 people a week. So I wrote down the number of friends that I have right now. And I wrote down the next six weeks. And I have a deadline. Okay, this week I need this many friends. This week, this friends, this week, that friend. So I have a number associated with it. So I'm able to celebrate my success outside of just Success Club and outside of just um, Rank Advancement. So I have milestones for my business because then I could break it down even daily and say, okay, in order to add 20 people a week, I need to add four people a day or whatever it is. So break it down. I also have a goal to have more people viewing my blog. So I say, okay, I'm gonna blog four times a week. Um, this is my rotation, these are my topics. Or you could say, I wanna put this kind of content out there. This is my, th these are my views. This is how many people I wanna see it every week. And fight, fight, fight. Be creative, brainstorm on how you can get in front of more people. I love this illustration about a deck of cards. And this is gonna be wrapping it up. That you can go through a deck of cards and you know what? You're only gonna find four aces. So you gotta find a new deck of cards because eventually the rest of the aces and the rest of the kings and jacks and queens and twos and fives, they're gonna come around and they're gonna say, you know what, I've been dragging my feet but I'm really ready now. But you have got to just move forward, be resilient, be teachable, be creative, be you, find yourself, find your purpose and run with it, okay? So I'm just really moved tonight. I love being able to share my why with you guys, my business plan I'll post in the group, but I just wanna tell you that I broke it down in certain weekly goals of how I'm gonna expand my market. And it doesn't have to be complicated. I do the three vital behaviors and I'm gonna to continue to do that. And it's not like I wake up in the morning and stretch and say, oh, I just hit success club, it's so easy for me. No, I hustle, we work hard and we like to play hard. So that's life. Um, and I think you know that in order to succeed in anything, you gotta work hard. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Bye.